help but love this tree. And the people who planted it 90 or so years ago understood the importance of marking place with trees. And so it's joyful to me to see people come together today and over this wonderful weekend. The vision was to transform a kapok tree into a kinetic sculpture with uh, upcycled objects from the community. The idea is that it would be a temporary installation, an art intervention. Part of the intention of this project was to uh, bring it back to its place of honor as a place for gathering. When I actually put in the proposal to the committee, the director of the program said to me, Elena, well, what if people don't show up or what if they don't participate? Will you still do this? And I said, no. This is not an Elena Toby only creation. This is a community creation. The objects connect top to bottom, bottom to top, um, like the chakras, root to crown, and the space in between the objects is like the breath. I don't change the form of any of the objects. I don't put holes in them, I don't solder them, I don't change their form. I use the objects and put them together. Um, because I just like the objects as they are and um, in new contexts they're transformed. They have new meaning, you see them differently. Um, you know, what is junk in a junk drawer strung together is, is art. Part of the idea of this whole project is it um, everyday objects bring out our inner artist. People coming and seeing their objects and the stories that they attributed to the objects or that they brought with the objects is all part of it. In Hebrew, the word for uh, wind is ruach, and uh, it also means spirit. And being out here in this wind and uh, interacting with all this beautiful energy just brings these objects to life in a whole new way.